Welcome friends, welcome to our Sportsman's Life. We're out here uh, getting ready for an evening hog hunt. It uh, is middle May and... Uh, it's just too far. Just wouldn't cut me out. Hunk right out there, just wouldn't want to cut me out. Welcome to a Sportsman's Life, folks. We are here uh, today at the Bucket Bass Ranch and we have a very special guest today, Cy Corti. And Cy is a long... Welcome to a Sportsman's Life. We're so glad you tuned in to join us for another exciting real-world outdoor adventure right here on A Sportsman's Life. Welcome friends, welcome to A Sportsman's Life. We're out here uh, getting ready for an evening hog hunt. It uh, is middle May and uh, it's kind of warm out here, a little bit, 93 degrees I believe at this point, but uh, Got a little bit of a breeze blowing right now, and uh, so we're going to see if we can't get on some hogs tonight. Uh, I think uh, Luke and Kenneth are going to go. This is Kenneth Shepard, by the way, folks, a good friend of ours, joining Hello. us here. Hello. Luke and Kenneth are going to go hunt on the uh, west side of the property, and Larry and I are going to run down onto the east side of the property and uh, see if we can't get on a hog, boys. What do you think? Oh. And I'll Kenneth go. is not shooting his... 375. 375. Oh, yeah, open sights. I'm still open sights. <laughs> I'm hanging with the open sights. I'm just not going with the rock. Folks, if you watch one of our previous shows, Kenneth made a shot on a cow with his 375 sure open sights. Kenneth's a neighbor of mine, lives right down the road. We've hunted and fished. Kenneth and I have actually guided elk and bear hunts together. But really right now, we're going to talk about we're going to get a hog, aren't Let's we? Let's go get a hog. I Listen, don't doubt that we're going to get that you're going to shoot. A little pork on the ground. So, we're going to eat pistols, right? Handguns. Pistols, today. You're going to handgun? There you go. Stay tuned, folks. We've got a great show coming your way here on our Sportsman's Live. So, boys, let's go hunt. Let's do this. Amen. All right. They kept showing up. <laughs> that was well, we got close, but uh, not yeah. close enough. No. What, what a great afternoon. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I never, I, I never really got to see those owls good enough to where oh, I could tell. I got some great video oh, of some man. owls. Beautiful video. But I love the coon. They have a, they yeah. have a big old sow and then a smaller sow. Mm -hmm. And they did, but they ran across the road in a hurry. We, of course, came up here to this feeder. And, Son of a gun. So it goes, okay. Well, time, time to go back to the house and make Luke fix supper. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Tell you what, you hang out right here. Okay. I'll just go grab the buggy and your camera yeah. and yeah. Fantastic. lock things up and then yeah. uh, you'll do that. back. Thank you. Brought to you by Dallas Safari Club, conservation, education, and hunter advocacy. 
Hornaday, accurate, deadly, dependable. Taurus Firearms, maker of the Raging Hunter. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions. I was wondering myself, I'll tell you. Way to go, sir. Good shot, too. We've been working this gobbler for about two hours, and I said, I, <laughs> I wasn't going to miss this chance. No, 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 no. Heavens, no. Like I told you, if you get a chance to kill him, don't worry about cameras or anything else. Let's get him on the ground. My first Eastern, I'm very excited. First about Eastern, it. congratulations. He's been by here three times, you know it. That's the smartest turkey I've seen in a long time. Yeah. I just didn't want to take take a chance. And then when he came back that last time, I decided to let the air out of it. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah. No, he's a pretty bird. He is a good bird. Let's go look at him. Let's go take a look at him. I should. I should let him, if I let him go about five more steps. No, you, you did the right I thing. I think you did the perfect <laughs> That's what deal. I told him. I, I told Russell, I said, if you get a chance to kill him, kill him. You finally got him, didn't you? I finally did. A day and a half, but we've had a lot of close encounters, but we finally, finally uh, got it done today. We got lucky because he came back three times. <laughs> A Sportsman's Life is also brought to you by Air Force Air Guns, AGM Global Vision, H3 Whitetail Solutions, Pyramid Air, Gear the Hunt, Snap Lock Hunting Blinds, Smoke and Tex, Striper Express, TRHP Outdoors, and Ultramatic Feeders. Conservation Today is brought to you by Hayden Outdoors Real Estate, the brand that sells the land. Visit HaydenOutdoors.com to find or sell your farm, ranch, or recreational property. Welcome to another Conservation Today segment. We're here on this beautiful day at the H3 office. Um, here at the office, we have bees buzzing around, and that's because we've got 35 hives that we utilize in different places across the state on different ranches that we work on. The bees, as a pollinator, if you don't know, play such a vital role in our existence and the sustainability of not just the habitats that we work and the habitat that we all enjoy and that our wildlife enjoy, 
but what we need is humans for consumption. They, they play the largest role in fruit bearing, in brow species, in crops that we eat. And so the next time you're out, before you pick up a fly swatter, or before you call a pest control guy at your home, think about that. Keep that in mind. Remember, we have to have the bees. And, and utilizing them to advance our natural resources and protecting these species is of the utmost importance. I'm Brandon Houston with H3 Rocktail Solutions. Dave, it is almost time for the DSC Foundation Gala coming up very shortly. Well, it is. It's going to be June 4th at the Frontier Flight Museum in Dallas, Texas. And Larry, we've been working hard on this event. But I'll tell you what, anybody that comes there will never forget the night. We have got one of the greatest live auction packages that we've ever assembled at DSC. And you know, you can be there in the room and bid, or you can do it virtually. But besides the live auction, we got a lot of other stuff. We've got some fantastic silent auctions that are gonna only be available there. Same thing with some of the raffle items that are gonna be there. So we really would like your presence. We're running low on tickets right now. But as Dave said, if you can't be there, you can get on our website. It'll tell you all about the foundation, all about the gala, and how they can bid on everything. And you know, the best thing about it, all the money that we raise through the DSC Foundation Gala, it all goes back into doing what we're supposed to be doing, and that is supporting the mission of DSC. You're exactly right, and we really look forward to seeing you there. Welcome to A Sportsman's Life, folks. We are here uh, today at the Buck and Bass Ranch, and we have a very special guest today, Cy Corti. And Cy is a longtime friend of the Rices, so Cy, welcome welcome down to a well, hog I'm hunt. glad to be here. So we are hunting with uh, traditional bows today, and I thought it takes time to talk a little bit about bows, and these bows are made by Cy. So we've got a couple back here. Cy has one back here that uh, was his that he gave me and then there's another one he's got back here and tell us about what you got here there Cy. Uh, this is one of the recurves and uh, this particular bow um, you don't uh, find anything looking like that in the store because <laughs> no. it's, it's, it's patterned after a uh, bow of the 50s and uh, and the name of the bow uh, was uh, Brema so when I made it I, I called it Bull and then uh, with bull snake uh, skin. That's bull snake, I yeah, was gonna bull say. Bull snake that's... skin on the back. Look at that. Uh, yeah, uh, 50 pounds. Uh, okay. Yeah, fast little bow. Uh, what kind of wood is it made out of? Okay, the, uh, the core is, uh, is maple hmm. and, uh, and then the fiberglass on both sides and then, uh, and then there's some accent wood here, the little Osage uh, arrowheads. Uh -huh. uh, and then of course the, the, the snake skin. So, and then tips are uh, are a Macarta tip, so that you can use fast flight string. So, anyway, do you make uh, your own strings? I make those things. Uh, yeah, I thought you did. Keeps, yeah. keeps me uh, keeps me out of bars and uh, keeps me busy. <laughs> I want to show you, friends, what uh, Cy is shooting here. This isn't your store bought. Arrows. These are these are going back a few years, buddy. Yeah, yeah but you know are, what? They the, work. Those are Graflex. Um, uh, they're a combination of carbon uh, and glass, and only shoot two blades. Um, and using uh, uh, these are what they call Stoss, S T O S. But um, I also have been using uh, Cutthroat. Uh, it comes out of the store in uh, in Denver, but. Uh, Anyway, good penetration. Yeah, very nice. Well, I'm going to show you folks. This is a bow that I have that a sign made for me. Oh gosh, Cy, how long ago? This has been a number of years since you yeah, made this one for years, me. Yeah. Tell us cool. about I think this. I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this bow. Uh, this one is kind of uh, in between a uh, long bow and a recurve. It's called a, a reflex deflex uh, long bow. And, uh, once again, I got a special mold uh, uh, for this, and uh, basically the uh, same components uh, and uh, no uh, uh, snake backing or anything like that. But uh, uh, it's really uh, uh, less sensitive than a than a recurve, 
and uh, still uh, gives you the, uh, the the speed that you need. So it's it's a forgiving bow. It's a great bow. I've shot up some hogs with it, folks. So I really really appreciate uh, you giving that to me several years years ago. And and uh, no, you can't have it back <laughs> <laughs> unless you want to borrow it and just yeah. use it. But yeah. anyway, and Sai's got one more bow back I, here. I, I have a number of them. Do you? <laughs> Tell us about this bow you brought. Uh, this bow is, uh, is, is kind of special because uh, uh, Jeff is, has hunted with uh, compounds, he's hunted with uh, recurves, and now uh, he's hunted with that longbow, thinking about a spear, but uh, he likes primitive. I do. So <laughs> guess what? He doesn't have a primitive bow, but he does now. Ah. This one, this is an all wood bow. Uh, made of Osage. Uh, you can see it kind of looks like a snake and it's got got snake eyes up there. How cool is that? <laughs> and uh, didn't have any rattles put on the back or anything but that's that's Copperhead. All, it's called Copperhead and that's all Osage Orange also called uh, Hedge. The backing is, uh, is rawhide and uh, and just uh, stained with uh, uh, leather dye. And uh, anyway, and like I said, it's it's called a character bow. As you can see, it's got yeah. a little hump in it there, and uh -huh. a little snaky, and and uh, uh, more resembles a Native American uh, kind of kind of bow. So. So, wow. you know, nice bow. I'll probably want it back in a couple of years. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Cy. That's awesome. Now These you got to go get a pig yeah. with it. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to yeah. stay tuned for a future show because that, that will happen, I yeah. can promise you. Thank you. That's yeah. very, very nice. Well, folks, we are out hunting with these bows. I'm going to, I might even string this one up. You never know. But we're going to go out and see if we can't get on a hog tonight. And uh, hopefully, size down from from the kansas city area so we want to send him packing home with uh, a bunch of pork and a cooler so i'm ready stay I'm ready. tuned all right folks we'll be back we got more to come here on the sportsman's okay. life okay all right <laughs> Folks, that was pretty exciting. We got a couple of couple of moors in there, and uh, Cy. They were pretty good size. Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah. What, what happened? What happened there? I thought. Well, I I kept waiting on that 
and one smaller one, I thought he was going to come in closer. And so, you know, it's getting darker. So I took a shot and and I felt good about the shot, but six feet in front of me, a little twig was sticking up and it deflected the arrow. <laughs> well, I saw you walk and pull yeah. your arrow and I'm like, oh, that must have dropped quickly. So I yeah. got, it looked like you hit a twig or something. Well, it's yeah. it. But it's not good if it hits twigs. <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us here on this week's episode. Please join us right back here next week for another exciting adventure on A Sportsman's Life.